Hello guys. One of the things you would do as cloud engineer is writing SOPs. For example, you may be asked to do a research on how to implement a particular cloud service. Once you've done your research and implement the service, you will write a step-by-step -step instruction to educate other team members on how that service works and how to implement it. To give you an example, I built a CI-CD pipeline at work. And this CI-CD pipeline uses a software called Flyway to migrate SQL data into Snowflake database. This is the SOP that I wrote to teach my team members how to use the pipeline to migrate their data into Snowflake. When I write an SOP, the first thing I'll do is write a rough draft of that SOP in Microsoft Word. Here, you can see the rough draft. One thing about me is the way my English is set up I tend to type the same way I speak, and I can admit that I am not really a good writer like that. So what I always do is, once I write my rough draft, the tool I use to edit my paragraphs is Grammarly. The next thing I'll do is select everything in this file. Once I select everything, I'll right click to copy it. Then I'll open the web browser and I'll go to Grammarly.com. And as you can see here, these are all the things I've edited on Grammarly. It always keeps a record of it. So you can see that I use it a lot. If I scroll down here, you can see all the things that I've edited using Grammarly. I am using the premium version, which is a paid version, but Grammarly has a free version you can use. It is also easy to sign up for Grammarly. For example, you can either sign up with your email or your Google account. Once you sign up for your Grammarly account, you also have the option to add it to your Chrome extension. So that way, when you are typing anything on your computer, Grammarly will automatically check it for you. I don't use the Chrome extension. What I do instead is I type my rough draft like I showed you. Then I'll come to the Grammarly website. Here, I'll click new. Then I'll paste my rough draft in here. Once you paste your rough draft, the first thing Grammarly will do is ask you to set your goal. So here you can pick the type of audience you are addressing. I'll say expert. For formality, I'll leave it on neutral. On that domain, I'll leave it on general. And for intent, I'll choose describe. Once you've set your goal, click done. Then it will bring you to this page where you can start editing your paragraph. Anything you see underlined in red, these are things you must change. So these are things like spelling error, grammatical error, and so on. Here, you can see I have some stuff in red. It is also showing all of them here. To accept it, I can just accept all the things in red by clicking accepting all here. Or you can review it one by one and accept it one by one. The first one in red here is my title. I don't really need to change that because that is complaining about the grammatical error. You can also see here, it says sentence fragment. To ignore it, all you have to do is click this trash can here and it will ignore that. For the rest, if you click on the next word that is underlined in red, it will show you this. To change it, you just have to click it here. Then I'll do the same thing for the next one. I'll change it here. I'll click this. It wants me to change it to two. I'll click it here. Next, if you have any sentence underlined in blue, these are sentences you can either reward or reorganize. So here, I'm going to select it. And you can see here, Grammarly will change this sentence to, please note that every database has a repository corresponding to its code build job. This sounds much better than what I wrote. So I'm just going to click rewrite for clarity. The next one is here. I'm going to click it. For this sentence, Grammarly wants to remove the that. I'm from Nigeria, we tend to say that a lot. And like I said previously, I write the same way I speak. So I'm just going to click rewrite for clarity to remove it. And if you read it now, it flows a lot better. For this one, I'm going to select it. Here it is saying I have a proposition at the end of the sentence. So I guess I can say into, 
let me try to and see and it has underlined it in blue i'll select it and here it wants me to rewrite it to this sentence so please make sure you clone the appropriate repository to which you want to migrate data this sounds good i'm going to click rewrite for clarity and the next is there i'll select it i have a spelling error there i'm going to click this to rewrite it then here i'll scroll down i have other things here i'm going to select this i'm going to click that i'll select in it wants me to rewrite it to this sentence and looking at it this sentence sounds a lot better than what i wrote i'm going to click rewrite for clarity then i'm going to select this change it directory is spelled wrong i'll change it i need to capitalize that i'll change it and this is what i do i just go through the sentence one by one anything that is underlined in red i'll review it and i'll change it accordingly i can click accept all here but i always like to review the sentence one by one so i'll click this change it now I'll just go through this real fast For this sentence, it is asking me to enter who or what will trigger the build job. It is going to be code build, so I'll type code build in here. Once I enter it, I'll click this here to rewrite the sentence. Then here, I'm going to select this. Database is spelled wrong. I'm going to click this to correct it. This is what I do to edit any paragraph or email. Anything that I'm typing at work, I usually paste it in Grammarly first edit it there before I send it to anybody. Once you are done reviewing and editing your sentence, you can read it again. Here you will see the score. If you see that all these are checked, this means that Grammarly didn't find any error in it. Usually when I get to this point, I'm satisfied with it. So what I'll do is I'll copy everything again. And I'll go to my Word document and paste it in here. This is exactly how I write and edit any email or SOPs that I create at work. So if you are like me and you are not really confident in your writing, Grammarly will help. And you can go to Grammarly.com to create a free account. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.